Now, during the week, I conducted an interview with Orla Flavin. It was heartrending. I was almost in tears. People have texted me and approached me to say they were in tears uh, listening to Orla's story. We we'll welcome her back on the air. Uh, hi, Orla. Hi, how are you doing? Very good. We had hoped to finish the programme with you in kind of a Christmassy style, uh, yeah. but that's not to be. You have many, many tests going on today. Yeah, I'm actually literally standing outside radiology, uh, radiology now. I just had um, a CT just of my spine. They just okay. want to check to see if if there's anything on my spine, but um, hopefully it'll be okay. Yeah, and of course the renewing the vow story caught the hearts and attention of, of many, many people around Cork. And I'm told yeah, you were... and you... I dropped something on the floor and he bent down. <laughs> oh, really? So, oh, yeah. t- t- tell me. He, he so did, It's going he ahead. Did, so, um, so tell me how he how yeah. re-proposed. How did he do it? Well... He kind of didn't so much re-propose as romantically as he proposed, but he did kind of say, oh, go on, so if it's what you really want, you'd be the only one I'd marry twice. Oh, okay. So, can, can, do you mind and do you mind listening to yourself now? We're just going to recap. Uh, it was a very long interview, about maybe 12 or 13 minutes, but I've... <laughs> Well, uh, Mark, Mark has cut it down to three minutes. I'm going to play it now and we'll come back to you then, Orla, because we have a little something for you. This should be the happiest Christmas ever because my three-year-old is looking forward to Ho-Ho, as she calls him, <laughs> and her two-year-old sister will be just as delighted. But eight weeks ago, our world was completely turned upside down because I was diagnosed with lung cancer in both lungs. Totally out of the blue. And we don't know when our last Christmas will be. So for us now, it's all about making memories. So that when I am gone, they will have something to look back on. Initially, I was kind of, each day was a case of, all right, I'm feeling sorry for myself now because I'm not going to get to see this and I'm not going to get to see that. And Or letting my, letting my mind go to, you know, will I get that opportunity to be buying a communion dress? Will I, will I get that far? Will I even get as far as bringing my two-year-old to play school? I don't know. And, and I guess I the, the, the worry the worry of you know, children who can't comprehend what's going on. Absolutely, but I'm lucky in a sense because they're so young, so they probably won't remember healthy mum. They'll remember mum, you know, that was always coughing a little bit or, you know, that had to lie down for a little while or had to rest for a little while. And that'll be their normal. Mm-hmm. So I'm I'm taking that as a plus. I, I tell my little girls every day I love them and will you remember I love you? And if I'm not here, will you remember I love you? And we do we do this little thing and you must ask daddy how much mummy always loves you. And that's my one fear, really, is that they'll forget how much I love them. I don't think they'll forget. But give, give, them, give them the little things that you're doing along the way. Yeah, I have wonderful family and friends who I know will remind them for me every single day. Because I'll come back and haunt them if they don't. <laughs> look, we'd love to look after you with something. If something comes our way, if somebody's listening, that can add to your memory box, if you like. Uh, we'll certainly pass it on. And I once again salute your bravery for coming on. Thank you. And, and if you don't mind, we'd like to keep in touch along the way. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All yeah. right, Orla. Thank you so much and for being so open you, and honest. You might just um, encourage people maybe to renew their wedding vows as well. I know of a couple, actually, who would love to renew their wedding vows. The husband isn't on board fully yet, but the wife is definitely wanting to renew her wedding vow. Tell me why and tell me what that means to a woman. I'm putting that out there. Go on, tell me why. Because the journey we've had over 13 years has been a wonderful one. And I just want to remind him that and tell him I love him more now than I did the day I married him. And I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for him. Mm. Wow. And so I just want to share that with him again and have that moment again and have our girls there and have our just perfect family in that bubble for that, that moment again. So that's what I'd like to do. Wow, you have everybody in tears again now. Everybody's welling yeah, up over there. Yeah, you me actually. <laughs> um, so that was kind of a Christmas wish. And um, no, just, just, to be, just to be clear on everything, Seamus told me you were very slow to come back on again in case people would think you were looking for something. 
or, or yeah. had your hand out for something. Can I just make it very, very clear? At no stage during our conversation or in any association with anyone on the staff here, did you ever, ever ask for a single thing? You just wished that your wedding vows could be renewed. And, yeah. and, and, and that was more a message to my husband, really. To be okay. honest, and he's got the message. And, and, and he, he got the message and it's great. He, he's come true. Now, here we go, right? I'm going to put a bit of music behind this. He's, he's Ready? in recovery at the moment. <laughs> Here's a bit of music coming up behind it. Okay. And now, Weddings by Seamus has something to announce. Right, um, Mick, um, this is a wedding that we've organised in 24 hours. There you go. Okay. 12th of March... I'm even uh, welling up here now. Um, we've got everything. All we're short of are the suits for Neil and his groomsmen to be suited and booted. Um, we're working on a band. We'll have that later on today. And I need makeup. Everything else was done in 24 You're hours. you very emotional there. Right, here we go. Right, um, Orla... We can do the celebrant in the church if you want, but we leave that down to you because that's your thing, okay? To make it really special. But what we have is Orla McAndrew will provide Christmas dinner for yourself and your family. Jim McSweeney, photography, is going to do a Christmas family photo shoot. Um, John Sexton, photography... And Barry and Sheena from Bismack Studios are going to do a family photo shoot either in studio or on location. Um, then we have tickets for the Everyman Panto uh, for Aladdin and also uh, a private visit to Santa. Now, this is where it gets serious. The Cork International Hotel through Sandra Murphy and Aaron Mansworth, uh, they're going to give us a family date night uh, which is uh, an overnight for two adults, two children with private access to the hotel's movie room with hot chocolate and cookies in the room and dinner for the family in the New York restaurant. Now, the wedding. Um, Dominic Dunn Photography is going to do your wedding photos. And I can vouch for him. He did mine back in 2013 and he is amazing. Um, Greg Mulcahy is going to do your video Greg Mulcahy video Caroline Fraher will do the ceremony we have Fiona Kennedy will perform at a drinks reception for you um, Key to Beauty by uh, Kira Sheehan in Fickerstone will do your spray tan and your nails Elizabeth Cott from Wondrous Flowers will do the bouquet and decor flowers for the venue. Sandra oh from God. To Have and To Hold uh, will do the ceremony decor and can do a floral wall uh, with candles for the ceremony that can be kept afterwards. Um, Michelle from, I actually missed Michelle's uh, business name, but I'll come back to that later. She'll also do decor like the furniture if you need it for the venue or if you need posh glasses, that type of thing. Trace of Cakes will do your wedding cake. Um, I, Grace from Diamond Bridal, I believe you've uh, modelled for Grace before through the Girls Club. Uh, yeah. She'll do your wedding dress. Um, Sarah in the princess rooms will do your flower girl and bridesmaids dresses no bridesmaids dresses will have to be off the the hanger because it's very hard to actually order in bridesmaids dresses Kim Moynihan and Lin, Kim Moynihan and Lindsay O'Leary will do your hair and we have also um, Gerard Kearney, magician, will actually perform at the wedding venue. We have uh, one or oh two God. ideas for a wedding venue, and um, they, they should come back later on. Yeah, so um, that's what we have so far. And um, I just have to say that quite a lot of these people in these industries have been really hit by COVID and the restrictions over the last two years and um, they've just come up trumps. It's just so, so kind of them. There you go, Orla. I bet you weren't expecting any of that. No. What do you think? I'm, I'm sorry, I just can't keep my composure this time. I'm just so, so overwhelmed. No, 
now we just need to get makeup for Niall and the lads and uh, I think we have it sorted and I'll have a band for you later on as well I've been promised a band and we're, we're working on a venue it's not, it's not going to be totally cost free obviously uh, you know there's no, going to have to be some no. contribution maybe to the meal cost or something absolutely absolutely we're, we're looking at thousands and thousands of memories for the children now this is just it's it's more than I could have imagined our wedding was when I uh, when we got married I said to me if we can't do it ourselves or family and friends can't do it we're not doing it I wanted it to be kind of a small and and so we didn't really have we had a beautiful wedding but we didn't have kind of the big wedding with all the trimmings yeah. because I kind of felt it was more about the two of us and so like being able to celebrate it this way is just oh my god it's, it's just going to be a dream come true it's amazing It's I 24 to 48 hours Seamus has story. been putting heart and soul in, into this um, I but called my husband Superman fucking hell sorry for the language just Seamus is the Superman pulling this together and in that time it's I, and oh, Orla, I, no I specifically told him the 12th of March for your 14th wedding anniversary. Thank you, and th- thank you. And Caroline Fraher, she's unbelievable. We had her at our wedding as well. Um, beautiful and singer. She is, she is. And I think we might be pulling in the music as well. So if Dominic Finn is listening, Dominic, come on board. 12th of March. Caroline can't do it on her own. Uh, Orla, I just got a text there on my own phone from uh, Dave O'Connor in Suits Distributors. All of the suits are sorted for you now as well. Oh my God, thank you so much. This is amazing. I, yeah. I, oh yeah. <laughs> Look, you, 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 came, you came on because you came on because somebody was saying, "Don't be bringing small kids to Santa." You came on to say, "This could be my last time bringing my small little kids to Santa." And you came on wanting to make memories, uh, and and now I really believe you're going to make thousands of memories here that they'll cherish forever. It's, it's like amazing. when I, I can't thank you enough. Well, and Orla, it's the people of Cork because when when somebody comes on and I found it from working through Red that if you're a if you come if you're a genuine person you're in need of help the people of Cork rally and that's what they're doing they're, I know it's amazing they're rallying to give you the memories that you can pass on to your kids and 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 that's what it is um, one or two of them have uh, have come through and they, they just want to do stuff privately in the background so like Enjoy it. So lovely. Oh, no, I, want, I want to read you some texts time. because you've you, now we've all of Cork crying. Okay, you might get some bit of fun out of these, right? Okay. Are, are you okay for a minute or two? I know you've got radiology. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, I don't think anyone who's listening isn't crying right now. Holy Jesus, you guys are simply amazing. For Christ's sake, Mick, that's twice in a week. I have tears in my eyes in work. That's not good for a six foot four mechanic. Uh, sweet Jesus, lads, I'm in bits. Goosebumps, says Eilish. Well done, the people of Cork. The city is crying listening to that woman. Uh, they wish her all the best. Oh my God, I'm bawling. Well done to all. So, so listen, Orla, um, final words from you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And on behalf of my little girls who have beautiful photographs that they're in with their mum to look at and beautiful memories, I just thank you all so very, very much. I'm I'm humbled and overwhelmed at the response that my story has had. And I don't feel that I deserve any of this. You deserve I'm every really bit of it, Orla. You deserve every bit of it. Thank you so much. Okay, listen, you're going to make thousands of memories, as I said, but there is one memory... Uh, that you've created here that your children will not realise for some time and I don't think you even realise it yet yourself and and that's this, right? That at the tail end of a pandemic where two years of restrictions had really pressurised the people of Cork and they were a bit downtrodden mentally and emotionally uh, your story touched the hearts of thousands of listeners and for all of the suppliers that have uh, rallied round to do something big for you on the 12th of March you brought out the best in Christmas spirit in those people of Cork. That's the memory they'll cherish. I hope so. Thanks, Orla. It would be lovely. Thank you so much. Best of Thank luck you. with the ongoing medical procedures. Thank you. Thank Thanks. you so much. Bye-bye.